All right, so another thing with other... So another thing with utter openness is that you can do like a power switch. So normally if you're saying something that's like, like you're nervous to say, you're going to be like, you might be like shy, like trembling, losing your breath or whatever, but to just come in strong with it instead. Um, and actually, interestingly, interestingly enough, like if you can switch the power on that, if you can have a flow, like kind of like a flow as you're talking and not like a stop and whatever, um, there's a way that you can be like manipulative with that, where like you can say something bogus and like just act like nothing's wrong, which may not be good hearted, but like, so may maybe not so much that, but like if you can switch the power keep the flow and maybe to be fair if you want to like pause so that you can be judge or so so someone can say something whatever but the power being there the flow and and also a reality with being utterly open is that someone might connect to what you say even if you're apprehensive of saying it so um, I, there's two kind of rap things that I watched today. One was, uh, one was by this, this, uh, animator, I guess called JKD animator. And it was this flow between, it was like something between J Cole and Lil baby. And that ish was dope. Um, but, but I don't think that's I mean, maybe that can be the fuel for this, but more so why I want, like, I had an idea of doing the idea of, like, um, for another video in this series to be the power switch thing, but now I'm going to do, like, a freestyle um, because I just watched, like I said, I watched the JKD animator thing, but and that was cool, but what I watched, I think, kind of got me in this wanting to freestyle to the elements of regarding like just wisdom of life or just telling it like, I don't know, but listening to uh, All She Wrote by T.I. and Eminem. So actually um, I've heard the song before, but I don't know if I've heard the T.I. and Eminem version. I think what I'd listened to before is maybe just the Eminem one. I thought there was, I kind of thought maybe there was an Eminem and Royce to five nine version, but there doesn't seem to be so what I must have had in this like old YouTube playlist. Um, I think maybe the first song on this playlist or maybe just it, it probably was an Eminem playlist. And perhaps the first song on it, because I feel like it always started with this was all she wrote. And it must have just been the Eminem version. So today, like I saw something in the in like the YouTube feed and like. Like, I was kind of curious about it, but then, or I, or I kind of wanted to watch it, but then I kind of, like, went away from it. Then I couldn't find it. Like, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it, and I was, and it was, like, it kind of brings back memories or nostalgia, kind of. But then I think I went away from it, and then when I tried to find it again, it was, I couldn't find it. So then I looked it up, and, Yeah. So I listened to the T.I. and Eminem version. I listened to um, just the Eminem version. And then I listened to the T.I. and Eminem version again. I think it's how it went. I think it's how it went. But yeah, I'm going to. So even though earlier this year I had a series called True Heart, True Heart Faultization. And that was me at first being like really open and stuff. And then as the series progressed, it like became harder or whatnot. Um, and I and I had like a freestyle singing at one point in that in one video in that series. Um, I don't know if I ever really rapped in that. And there's been points in past years where like I freestyle and I feel like I'm like holding back from saying like because you have to watch yourself in a politically correct world and even beyond that saying something that 
um, people might, that could be, I don't know, people could perceive the wrong way. But yeah, being politically correct and, and I guess saying, yeah, like you could be judged. <laughs> um, you could say something that doesn't rock with people, but as a, before for this power switch video, I thought of like doing just saying stuff, like just practicing in the video with like saying stuff and just like, and doing that power switch, but via what today has brought forth, let's try freestyling and shoot, maybe let's see if I can get to, while I'm at it, let's see if I can get to J. Cole and, uh, um, and, uh, low baby level <laughs> yo that that video is dope you should you should probably check it out like dang but okay so that being said obviously if i'm gonna be being open i might say something that that you might be like what the fudge like if i do this right so but let me try to maybe connect with your soul and let me try to power switch and flow and literally flow because we're rhyming and maybe i'll say something that you're feeling too so yo <laughs> what is this world no what is this world with these crazy girls and even though i'm trying to be open i don't want to be saying things that i said i wouldn't do before i still got to be smooth like lotion even as i open the door of saying more but I still said I wouldn't call a lady a bitch, so I can't do that. Let me still keep my morals where it should be is, even as I fizz. Did I just say where I, sh where I should be is? Is that what I just said? Let's, let's, let's go again. <laughs> I also feel like sometimes if you haven't done something before, like it, Hmm. Okay, let's let's try again. Cause I remember one time in my band from Furco series, like I I started saying something that would be not politically correct, but I was and I was trying to like say my I was trying to be open or say my thoughts, but I think because I haven't been in those lands of conversation, like that's unexplored territory in a way. It just it was weird, like because I don't know if I felt this way when I was recording it, but years later when I rewatched Man from Furco to make the Anything Can Happen to Anyone series, like, I, maybe it was then when I was rewatching it that I watched it and I was like, Ugh, that, that, yeah, I think that's where, because Man from Furco was actually, was actually like really impressive in the beginning when I was watching it. And I think that's the first place in that video and like, because there's a hundred videos in the Man from Furco series. And I think somewhere in the teens, before the 20th video, when I was talking about like the con like as far as like um, like Mexicans coming over, like the, no, the idea of the wall, like trying to say stuff about that, like because that's like a politically correct touched co concept, and like there's one way you're supposed to think about that, and like to try to actually talk on that, like it just it ended up coming out really weird um or somewhat weird and so that ha so that's a place that that's happened and then and then in movie magic which is another which is a more recent series i watched a video or a movie about like it was called like the final account or something and it was about nazi germany and stuff and like in the free software that i tried to like say something that again like to to say my opinions or to say something and it and I don't know if it was because of saying like trying to have that that I feel like that was part of it was because it was like the one of those concepts that you like can't touch because like you're supposed to have a specific opinion on it or maybe or maybe it was just because it was difficult to talk on such subjects I don't know but let me see not uh okay Let's see. So maybe practice. Maybe you also need practice on on being utterly open because some some, some like some areas it's hard to touch. 
Uh, uh, I don't really care. Actually, I do, but haters beware. Actually, I don't really have haters like that, but I do have some, but there's still people. So what is it gonna be? It's just me, I beast, sitting in the living room, maybe to my doom, maybe coming in too soon with the flavor. I don't even know if it's something that you can be catered with or catered to. Uh, trying to lose my group. Ah. Hey, Pasa, what is happening? Like, my words are like, like, my grammar is not even, like, I'm saying, like, I keep saying stuff that's like. Is this not is is this not a door so easily opened like Is there like a is there like a realm of being or a level of being? Maybe I shouldn't do higher or lower. Like maybe I shouldn't say. At least I don't specifically want to. Maybe I shouldn't say a level. But is there like a realm of being that like it's hard for me to like find myself? find like find my way into because of how politically correct world and how like just Americanness of this day and age has like kind of constricted me and so I can't even like is it more than just opening a door is it like a like a like you really gotta like push or you really gotta fight to like get into this new realm of being. Because I just tried freestyling twice with a certain heart and it's like the grammar kept being off. Like grammar, which is like, which is something that I struggle with in freestyling. So like that is, that is kind of like a base, um, like a, uh, a base level thing towards freestyle like you got like for and for me like I can watch if I'm doing my normal freestyle like the normal way of things that I'm comfortable in um like I can account for that but it is still something like just saying grammar right is still like an issue that I have to like deal with or watch so i guess it would make sense that it would just go down to the floor when trying something new maybe that maybe that can kind of make sense but that didn't go how i wanted it to go or how i thought it was going to go
Hi, my name is I.B. Trying to be incredibly lyrical, but maybe I'm just being hysterical. If I could try to talk to your soul, who knows what openness would unfold. Maybe it would be treasures, maybe it would be gold, maybe it would have a hold on you. Or maybe you can just roll on right through, but maybe I'd get another view to add it to the like two previous I had before. I don't really get much more than one, two, or three, unless I'm lucky, or unless it's an opportunity that doesn't happen usually. So sue me, as if I have money for you to sue me for, at least not from this YouTubing not galore. I mean, that was open, but not... That was that was open, but I that's stuff that I normally like. I normally that's not something that's crazy. And what's interesting is that, like the topics, the topic that I have in my mind, or or and another topic that might kind of be knocking at the door of my mind or like kind of in the in the peripheral in reality these are topics that i've talked about maybe not necessarily freestyled about but that i've talked about in other youtube videos so maybe sometimes we also do more than we think we're doing i don't know but for freestyling like yeah there's topics that I generally don't touch in freestyling because it's freestyle. Like, <laughs> But what if I could open that door of utter openness for freestyling? Clearly, as I can see from the first two attempts, it's going to make things that I previously had a handle on fall down. Like, like I said, the grammar thing, that is... That is an issue. Like if I'm just freestyling or whatever, like I have to, I might be starting a sentence and then the grammar might be off. So then I have to like change maybe the rest of what I'm going to say. Like I think that even happened in the third freestyle, even though you might not have noticed, but like I had to change the ending of what I was going to say so that it flowed as grammatically correct. Um, like that is kind of like a weakness. So I guess trying to be utterly open just really brings that weakness utterly <laughs> so maybe maybe it's something that you don't that's not so easy as just opening a door just like hey we're gonna do this like maybe it takes some work because it, it would be cool to freestyle and just be utterly open 